Welcome back to my Democracy 3 playthrough. Today I think we're just going to do some power play and play through the rest of my uh, year in office. Okay, so we left off and people are overall happy with us and we're high productive, highly productive, we're rocking a surplus, so... Let, let's see what we can actually do to uh, make lives better for everyone. So, I mean, getting the debt down would be nice. Nice place to start. But I'm, I'm going to do something and uh, look in the charts. Uh, okay, so poverty has increased. Uh, that's not good. Equality has decreased. But overall... And tobacco use has increased. I think I lowered the tobacco tax, did I? No? Hmm. Strange. Some things you just can't help, to be honest. Okay. Youth are liking us because of the youth clubs. Um, what? What are we spending money on? Oh, lots of money is being spilt on the military. Not my favorite spending, but I'm just going to leave it there. I wish, I wish this would allow us to compare our force to other forces, other countries at the time. That, that would give us some uh, stance on like, do I really need my military to be up so high? I don't know why some of these are just uh, white squares. Oh, cause, probably because of like a race discrimination thing going on and the now I don't do that, so it doesn't show me. No, no it does. Uh, th this is strange. It forgets who. It's like, I've been gone so long that it's like, who? Who'd you fire again? Or who quit? I don't remember. You're supposed to remember that stuff. Um, well, Let's see what we can do for the sciences. Got a space station. Um, uh, technology grants. Or we're giving all our money to technology. Science funding's at max. Um, we're, we're evolution is only taught. I got a lot invested in my sc uh, schools and even in adult education. Oh, technical college. You know what? We need people who know how to actually fix and use the machines. So sure, I'll invest in technical colleges. Okay, what is this? That's technology grants. Okay. What are some policies that people... Wrong. Policies. What are some policies people dislike? They don't like uh, prisoner tagging. They dislike property tax, and they dislike it being at 0%. I don't know why they dislike it being at 0%. Tobacco to tax. Oh, oh, zero percent popularity. Um, yeah, I think if we just wait and actually take some of these taxes just straight off the book, that would be uh fairly nice. So I'm going to click next turn and uh, hopefully get some of this off. Our credit rating was upgraded. That's what getting a surplus does. When it's now back to double A. Very nice. Our opinions are going up. GDP is going up. How's the global economy? Is this... Wow, oh, I've... Money. Charts. Global economy is going up. We're, uh, we're back to normal. In fact, it looks like we're even better than we were before. Coming out of that, that swing. Okay. Yep, I think we can get some of these taxes off the books. And wrong policies. Now, which one do they dislike the most? We actually get a fair bit from this. So I'd rather not. I mean, I think we could probably turn it down now. Yeah, I'll probably turn that down. Um, sales tax. Still getting a lot from that. Corporation tax. $10 billion, Not that big of a deal. So, I'm going to get rid of that. And that probably took away a majority of our points to spend. So, probably can't do anything else. Yes, we're at 8. So, we're going to go next.
next turn again. Scientific discovery. This is why we go science. And not only that, our income increased yet again. How, wait, I want to see that again. Did our unemployment go down? Yeah, our unemployment did go down. So GDP is going up, unemployment's going down. Wish poverty would go down with it, but I, I, I guess beggars can't be choosers. Property tax, gone. That should help people, even though it wasn't really affecting it, should help get a uh, home. Um, why is this going up? Environment should clearly be taking down. Yeah. Done a lot for the environment. So next turn again. Our budget uh, surplus just keeps increasing. We're keep on whittling away at that debt. We're doing great. We now have a triple A rating. So this is going very well. Very well. Very excited. Okay, what tax can we get? Ooh, people don't seem to be liking us. I don't know. Maybe I... I don't know. They, they like us a lot. 54 maximum. That That's quite a bit. Income tax. Still earn a heck of a lot. Um, let's go back to policy. See what tax they dislike the most. Really dislike alcohol tax. Oh, that's law. They don't. We don't have alcohol tax. We might do that. Um, income. Oh, we do have an alcohol tax. <laughs> yeah, forty-seven billion. I think. How how's our alcoholism? Still pretty high. Community policing. Alcohol consumption's up. Why does the alcohol tax have nothing to do with alcohol abuse? Maybe it helps whittle down consumption. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's because GDP's shot up. I'm sure. Okay. Is there any other tax that we can get rid of? I don't like the idea of a, a car tax. Just doesn't make sense. I mean, especially now that our cars are actually fairly efficient. Mandated efficiency. Environmentalist, does this actually help the environment that much? I don't like subsidies, but 2.3 billion for a subsidy isn't that much. Oh well. Don't don't like it, but I'm hoping that it will help because I don't think this game actually uh, keeps natural factors. So a lot of factors that are naturally occurring that will actually occur that would change stuff over time that it just simply does not account for. Squatters rights. So when someone goes into a home that is either for sale on the market, stays on the market for a long time, but they live inside of it, uh, unbeknownst to the owner, and after so long of being in there, they actually gain a claim on the property and basically own the property thereon which I think is completely BS, and I'm going to evict them. It's not your property, just because you live there. Our uh, surplus has gotten even greater, whittling down that debt soon enough. We'll be able to even lower taxes even more because we won't have the uh, expenditure of... It's probably pretty low. Um, just on this side. Uh, interest is what I'm looking for. Debt interest, eight billion. So that's that's almost completely gone, and we won't have this to for future generations to pay for, which would be just absolutely insane. Religious membership is gonna go way down. <gasps> yeah. They don't, they don't like that. Very unhappy. Okay. Well, back to taxes. Gasoline tax or petrol tax. Yeah, 
Okay, they don't want it all the way up. Some some serious stuff goes down at that point. Stuff that you don't want to happen. We have that all the way up, so they're very, very high efficient gas. Biofuel subsidies are very bad. Well, it, I I could talk about it, but honestly, I don't want to. <laughs> It's not 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 what I wanted to do. Just just know that I'd rather eat the food than have it turned into fuel. I guess is the the easiest way. I mean, with a billion hungry something like that each year. Okay, gated communities, indifferent. We're indifferent. We don't we don't we don't side either way on the on the topic. But the wealthy are like, thank you very much. We very much appreciate that. I don't. Yeah, I don't understand why uh, the different groups actually have opinion on this. I'm just gonna get rid of the policy in general. I'm not trying to get up on the rich right now. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, handgun laws. No machine guns. I, mean, I don't see why not. If you're gonna use machine guns against us. I'd rather have a machine gun to fight a machine gun, or a tank to fight a tank. This this looks great. Not much is changing because we're not changing very much. But honestly, I don't see that's a problem. Okay. Food stamps. It's okay. Unemployment benefits. Um. I I know it it does help, but it only helps in the short run. <sighs> I I, I want to leave it alone for now. Um, can we do some foreign aid? In fact, we can. Foreign relations, minorities. Yeah, sure, it does reduce patriotism, but for for our fellow countries. If, yes, if, if honestly, if they're on par with us, and we're not this gigantic superpower way above everybody else, then that that's great for us, because now they're bringing in new technologies that we don't have, and it allows us to really benefit and grow as a whole world faster and better. So yes, I'm I'm fine with that. And as the U.S., we don't have in incredible amount of allies so that's fine with me and the socialists are actually gonna like that which we've apparently been beating down on the socialists which I don't understand why uh, technical colleges are against socialists because the uh, we we're still still giving money to schools more government in other words and socialists are for more government Um, yeah, I don't know if I want the police to be armed or not. It's another point where I'm not sure. I don't I don't want them abusing their power because they have a gun. Well, I don't want them abusing their power, period. Um, I don't know what I can do to actually pull down internet crime. Or if it's just a lost cause. Let me go to some policies. Uh, economy taxes, uh, tax. Um, no, don't seem to be. There's some health credits. How how is our health? Health is good, but could be better. Wrong button. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I can go vouchers. Or I could give tax credits. I don't. Do I. Am I not thinking of this right? Vouchers is when everyone automatically gets it, basically. And then credits are if you pay so much in uh, uh, taxes, you can actually get a credit back on that and not have to pay on that money. 
uh, pay tax on that money. A system where tax reductions and credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on private health care in order to reduce their tax liability. Yeah, this boosts health care without involving the state running in hospitals and then vouchers. A measure designed to encourage the growth of private health care whilst still enabling everyone access to it. Health care vouchers are issued by the state to everyone, but can then only be spent in the private sector on health care. This is a different approach. I don't see why either is a bad thing. But people seem to be liking these better. So I want to do something with those. I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, I'm going to put a good 50 billion down and I think I'll increase or decrease as a, as I see what it's uh doing. Yeah, I'm going to go like t try to get 10%. Yeah. Well, I went way down. 70 so that at 10.17. I will apply. And that takes us down to 4. And I'm going to say OK. Housing expansion. Well, I'd normally say keep it. Because these are sites that we've declared green. And that they are our sites that we're preserving. But... Let's... Let's be honest, the government, in the United States at least, owns a majority of the United States' land, and I see no problem in actually allowing, uh, I don't know which one I clicked. Well, <laughs> that was nice. Um, I wonder if I uh, can find out. Uh, maybe I can find out in Homeless. Housing expansion. Yes, so I said relax the plans and will allow more houses to be built so and in the end this will allow uh, housing prices to go down hopefully because the price of land goes down when there's more land and the demand hasn't really changed per se okay still 31 what what, what, what taxes can we get? That, that, I, hate, I don't like tax credits being in taxes. Okay, let, let's lower this by 100 billion. So, we're at 60. We're lowering it. I'm going to go say 45%. Seems like a nice arbitrary number. Okay. Now, gas, petrol tax. I mean, I feel like right now this doesn't really do much because of all the things that we've put in. I mean, I honestly think that this probably makes no difference now. Because I think they're probably either not on electric anymore because of all the standards we put it on them. I mean, they're, they're, we, we, we impose some pretty harsh standards. Factory farming law. So we can uh, animal welfare standards. So that animals are not suffering by insensitive farming. Uh, most people would be horrified if they saw the condition that animals get. Would lead to more expensive food. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna say in this, uh, leave the law unchanged. Nobody forces them to buy processed meat from the cheapest source. If you yes, if you want, uh, they can. There are organic and free range foods, and if people really, I mean, shouldn't stop the word from getting out and. Very much spread the awareness of what is going on in these farms and these factory farmings and that are mistreating the animals, keeping them in uh, small pens and such. But if people, and then if people are now more willing to go out and go free range, so that at least the animal, the 
that they are eating got to walk around, then by all means, that sounds good to me. But forcing everyone to eat free range to, uh, or whatever they're going to do by that law that they are trying to make me impose. Oh, we have 50 points. We can basically impose anything we want right now. Police drones. Very necessary. I mean, honestly, without it, we can't do very much. I'm kidding. Uh, stem cell research. Not what now with the ability to actually make stem cells without requiring a fetus. Sounds really good. But I think this was made with the idea that it requires a fetus and thus goes off of that. But it's a scientific research and will help technology GDP. So we're going with it. Okay. And that that's about all we can uh, impose on our, on our society. Minister Scandal. Guys, what are you doing? Come on. Can't we all just get along? Okay. Prisoner tagging. I honestly don't see why people dislike it. I mean, people know what you did. But it's only for a certain amount of time, I thought. And it's like a parole thing. So that you can't just go run off. But it gives you some slightly more freedoms of being actually in jail. Okay. Well, this is... Uh... This is, uh, my thick second to last turn, yes. You have six months left in office. Don't know, uh, how this is, uh, gonna end. <sighs> it's gonna be a sad last, uh, six months in office. I don't know what, what, what else I can really do. You know, we, I could expand roads. Not satellite road pricing. Could expand roads. <laughs> At the huge cost to the environment. Um, existing roads fix. So I could fix all the existing roads. I don't know. I mean, we have this huge ass monorail that you could take that expands the entire United States, which I think should have cost more. I mean, okay, fifty billion a year to to make and maintain. Okay, it probably could be built for that. Nobody likes it though. <laughs> who who would have guessed? Um, what else do we have here? Uh, legalized prostitution. I mean, I don't see why, why not. Legalizing it will actually make it safer for kids, uh, for people, not just kids. I, mean, I said kids because I saw parents. Really hope kids aren't utilizing uh, prostitution. Um, but it'll make it safer for people who p do partake because now we can say you have to have uh, regular tests and put a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, kind of regulations. But it makes sense that these would already be put in place by the free market. But I see no reason why not. And now I doubt people would be on the street for prostitution. They would There'd be a place, there'd be a business opening up so that you can go there and do somewhere safe and it'll be safer for the actual people who are the prostitutes because they don't have to get in a car or somewhere and be all shady just to get taken away and just bad things happening to them 
and to their body. Obesity situation developed? Dang GDP, how am I supposed to stop that? Well, what we can do though, we can give some more credits. How, how much income are we making? We're making... Oh my goodness. We're gonna fall so short. I may play a few more rounds just to get rid of the debt so we can say we got rid of the debt. Um, oh man. I think increasing this to max. That'll really help private healthcare and give us some nice benefits. Okay. People smuggling. <laughs> I hate I hate the smuggling thing. We we have very lenient border uh, uh border requirements to get into the United States as it is. And then you illegally broke in. That doesn't set a good precedent to uh allow you to stay. If we just allow people and regardless of whether they got here legally or not. Okay, guys, this is the the moment where we find out would we have gotten reelected and start count. I mean, it looks like by far, absolutely nobody could compare. Like, holy crap! I think we did put it on endless terms, so. We could play forever, changing things slowly, just seeing uh, how they uh, changed over time. Our GDP is really high, our health is really high, crime's really low, education is damn near as high as it could be. We have 51 political power, 52 at, at max. Um, I really don't know what. I don't understand why state health service is the only thing that can only health service why public health service doesn't do the same thing uh, of bringing down drug addiction because honestly anything state health would do so would private health <laughs> again yeah I mean okay this one private health care also takes it down Maybe private healthcare does, but I don't know. I think this is private healthcare? Yeah, private healthcare. No? Okay, here are the effects. But okay, it does take down obesity. Uh, doesn't do narcotics, though. Very strange. Very strange. Well, we have so much money. Gonna lower this a bit. Now this would, in theory, lower us a billion dollars by taking it down that way. But I I have a dream that it will help the economy, make it stronger, make uh, our lives better in the end, and thus I'm going with it. I, I really like this breakdown in government. I mean, I'd like military to be down a little bit, but I don't want to do that and then have a whole bunch of people unemployed with our current unemployment situation. With, I don't know how that equates to percentage. I don't... That, if this is the total people, then that's a lot of people unemployed. <laughs> I, I don't I have no idea what's actually going on in this merger, so I'm going to allow it. They're a big company now. Woo! Everyone's favorite. And yeah, uh, oh mortgage tax relief. This sounds great. It's going to help a lot of people actually get a house because they get tax money back. 
So yes, we're going to implement that. Go and click next. And let's see our income. People, two people just resigned. Wow. And now we have a huge budget deficit. Our income tanked. Okay. Now, we did, that's what we lowered. Global economy did decrease a bit. But, how much did we make? Let, let's look at income history. Mm, income history didn't change. In fact, we made quite a bit of money. I don't know why. Our expenses jumped quite a bit. Our income dropped like a, a rock, though. What what uh, really decreased? Show income history. No, that that stayed steady. That's increasing still. I mean, that's decreasing over time, as one would expect. Sadly, tobacco's money's increasing. That's only twenty billion. That's also increasing. I don't, I don't understand. No, I don't. Don't change the thing there. Well, I tried to lower taxes. But now, I'm going to increase taxes just to cover the deficit. Tax, higher. Uh, he's for us. He's tax. You tax? You're very tax. But you're religious. I don't know why you really like us. Maybe it's because the actual people, amount of people that are religious are going down. Homeless, we, we ended homelessness, guys. We're doing fantastic. And this video is going to be kind of long. I, I think this is just something that I think we're going to both enjoy and actually be like, hey, we did solve some problems at the end. At least at the end we solved some problems. What I did just there was I allowed the uh, airport to expand, I believe, and that will bring in more tourists and more, a lot more travel. So it just helps to... Uh, to uh, allow us to really live in a global uh, people as we are really now. I mean, we're not under one nation, but we are still a global people. Yeah, yes. It only reduces that maximum. Or is it not yet there? It's already there. It's out of the, out, off the roof. Okay, we're now rocking a huge R surplus. Okay, we're at a 260 billion surplus. Let's lower this down about 100 billion. So we're at 38, so 1, 938. 32, close enough. Pollution? No! We work so hard to get that down. What's causing it to go up? The environment. What's causing the environment to increase? Oh, well. Air travel has increased it. Our GDP is what's really hurting our environment. Oh man. No no one's gonna like it, but we're going to raise the carbon tax a lot. And hopefully that just allows people well, forces people with our iron hammer and what I think they're really more afraid of is our our, our military force behind us saying you can't have such awful missions going out. School busing, gonna raise that. 
I mean, I don't know why they're not just taking the monorail, but again, sometimes I don't know about this game. Railroad subsidies. You know what? I, let's hire some people. Let's lower the amount of motorists. I mean, I think this will actually help. Hopefully, people will start using railroads. And this means less trucks are actually on the road, so more rails are being used, and maybe a high, uh, a bullet train gets built, and more commuters, yes, instead of actual uh, motorists. That sounds great to me. And I think we go say ban animal testing. I'm going to ban animal testing because there's no reason why we should test on animals which show, well, they may show relations, won't show if it will actually work on humans. And why should we learn how to fix these problems in animals when we want to learn how to fix them in us? And we can, with our stem cell research, actually test them on actual people's body parts, which would be great. A market meltdown. That is no bueno. Everything decreased there. Health decreased. Mainly because of pollution. Which really sucks. GDP decreased. Just sucks. We're making lots of money though. Making lots of money. So I mean, I guess that's a benefit. Ugh. I, I I can lower taxes by a billion and pay off the debt, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Huh. Uh. Uh. And just a little bit. No, oh, close enough. Okay. Now with that, I have a lot of extra points. Well, not much I really want to do. Uh, you can no prisoner tagging. Nobody likes it. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else. Any no limit, no limit on guns. Any gun that the military is going to use, any gun that's going to be used against us, because the only reason that we have gun laws is to prevent, well, it's not the only reason, but the main reason is for when, when and if, I, I stress the if, a uh, government is, has become corrupt and a revolution is required, and guns are required to defend ourselves because guns make people equal a lot more than physical ability. Okay, and a next turn. Uh, okay, we, we, we had a surplus each quarter. Now, did we? Yes, we have paid off the debt, guys. It took a little over eight years. It may, may have taken like nine years-ish. But we did it. We paid off the debt. People are happier. Yeah, let's go with that. Pollution is at an end the next time we click on this button. So health will go skyrocketing. Back up. GDP may may not. Uh, software patents. Um, uh, opening doors to small companies, including those. Sure, that... Let's allow pat software patents. <sighs> Strange stuff. Okay, pollution's gonna end. Hopefully this is gonna end in two turns. So I'm gonna click next, not change anything. Pollution's not at end. We're gonna say we're not gonna allow... I don't wanna ban the cell of GM crops. I just wanna ban the... Uh, the harvest and allowing to grow uh, genetically modified food is what they're saying uh, but yeah we don't know how it will affect the whole ecosystem so if you want to go to doors or something I think I'd be fine with that but to take it out and go into the environment can cause some problems I would think 
So I'm going to ban the sale. Um, we have a small deficit. Why do we have a deficit now? Did we lower taxes or is this just the economy going going bad? I'm not in the money. There we go. Charts. Yes, the economy tanked. Um, so we don't really want to be spending more money. We have a lot in reserve. So we can deal with the uh, $25 billion deficit for quite a while. Uh, quite a while. But I think this is where I am going going to end it. I mean, actually, no, I'll, I'll click the next turn button. See if we abolish anything else. Yes, we ended at the asthma epidemic. Still, I don't know if we're ever going to get rid of obesity. Just because of... Uh, the fact that it's uh, with GDP, so the better our our country's doing, the more uh, the more fat people we have, obese people we have. No, and I uh, uh, that's okay. I mean, I think people there'll eventually be a movement to change that. But yeah, it would be uh, great if it was gone, but not much we can do about it. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you liked it, feel free to uh, like, favorite, and subscribe if you want to see more. I shall be posting some more videos. And hopefully it won't be that uh, far apart next time. Just uh, got uh, my internet fixed and ready to go. So hopefully that's going to be a lot better now. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Bye, guys.